The body may die, but never the soul, which is merely passed on. Souls flow onward, born and reborn, forever part of the great ether stream. Why friends make grave here? Can we not take Biggie Pond home to village? He'd want to be buried where he fell. It is traditional amongst mercenaries. I'm so sorry, Fanta. If only I hadn't listened to those people, you'd still be... I'm sorry. It's not your fault. No matter what, those guys would have tracked us down eventually. What matters is that Vandam saved all our lives. For now, let's just be grateful to him for that. <laughs> You're right. I won't forget your words, Vandam, ever. I'll fight my own war with Pyra. Pyra? worried that you might not wake up pyra you know i've got to ask that thing that happened yesterday you called yourself mithra what i i am um... i'd like to hear that too that power it wasn't normal is that the true power of the aegis I think you owe us an explanation. It was pretty crazy. Tora want to know too. Pyra was super strong. Why so strong, huh? No, no, don't pressure the girl. Well, uh, the thing is, I mean, Pyra? Why? Huh? Why did you wake me up? Huh? What? I didn't want to wake up. I didn't want to come back. I left everything to her so I'd never have to use that power again. But then you woke me up. W woke you up? If you hadn't been so useless, none of this would have happened. I wouldn't have had to use this power. Didn't you listen to that Van Damme guy? He told you to hold back. He told you to run. But you just had to push yourself, idiot. Look where it's got us now. You. You really messed up. You don't have to tell me that. I know, all right. I knew I was being an idiot. Rex. But I just... I couldn't hand you over to them. I wanted to keep you safe. Uh, what? Uh, at any rate, if you've got questions, you can ask her. I'm out of here. Bye. Uh, that's not fair. Everyone, I'm very sorry about all that. Malos and I are Aegises. Blades born with a terrible power 
Strong enough to destroy the world. Malos is another Aegis. Long ago, there was a man who climbed a world tree, hoping to make it to Elysium and meet his creator. But when he arrived at Elysium, he found it empty. So instead, as proof that he had reached that divine realm, he brought back two core crystals, Malos and me. And once he made it back to all rest, he awakened Malos. Why he did it, I can't say. For greed, for power, or perhaps when Malos awakened, he wielded his world-shaking power without restraint. To him, it was natural. He had never known anything else. I was awakened by a driver who was determined to stop Malos's rampage. So Malos and I fought. I fought with all my might and succeeded in defeating Malos. But not without a price. Three great titans fell in the struggle. After the battle, I sealed myself away to ensure that power would never be unleashed again. I took the form you see now, and fell into a long slumber. That was 500 years ago. The Aegis War. The man who awakened Mithra was Adam, hero of the lost kingdom of Torna. Adam fought as Mithra's driver to protect the world from Malos. We Titans played our part in that battle, too. It is our calling to live alongside humanity, after all. Gramps? Adam hid Pyra's sleeping body inside a great ship and sunk her to the Cloud Sea's floor where none could abuse her power. So that day, that's the ship that we... That's how Pyra and I... I believe it was fate that we met each other. Otherwise, my sister would never have woken up. You call her your sister? Mithra and I used to talk together in that dream of Elysium where you met me. We promised that when we were awakened again, We'd go home to the real Elysium. And then, we would fulfill our real purpose. And that's... defeating Malos again. I'm very sorry about Mithra. She didn't mean all that. You have to understand, she came out because she wanted to protect you. She broke her own seal for you. Even used her power as the Aegis. The flame powers I use are just a shadow of her strength. Droplets of excess energy trickling through the seal. Don't worry about it. She was right. This was all my fault. I'm just glad hmm? that you finally managed to open up a little. Also, thank you for protecting everyone, I mean. Protecting? Me? Your powers are incredible. I could feel the truth behind the legends. I'm sorry. I... You apologize a lot. You know that. I guess... 
You still feel guilty about the Aegis's power, right? But I don't want you to have to apologize anymore. I hope I can help you move past that. No. I know I can. Rex, I... Power depends on the heart of its wielder. That's what Vandam said. That's why your power is the power to protect. The power to keep everyone safe and smiling. I want to do the same. I'm going to be the kind of driver who can protect you in turn. I promise. Make a girl cry, that's not going to fly. Make a girl smile, you pass the trial. That's the third rule of the Salvager Code. Yeah? Rex, Rex! Can you help Tora with repairing of Puppy, please? Okay, I'll be right there. Oh, yeah. What's for dinner tonight? How does meatball pot o sound? Delicious. Mmm, I can't wait. That's my Rex. Never loses his smile. And that's what keeps us all going. Reminds you of Adam, don't you think? What's this? Take it, and go to Indol. That dagger's owner will tell you how you can get to Elysium. This is a blade weapon, right? Who's its owner? The man who was once my driver. Your driver? Huh? But then... Coal is a blade. We fought together in the Aegis War. Yes. His real name is Minoth. Blades not get old, though. Why Cole looks so old? Because I'm one of the cursed ones. A flesh eater. <laughs> A flesh eater? A blade who has been fused with human cells. A long time ago before the war. Some sought to test the limits of Blade's potential. I am a product of their experiments, one of the unlucky ones who was tainted by their folly. Why would ancient people do that? It seems that by combining Blade and human, it is sometimes possible to create Blades with extremely unique powers but only very rarely. Most experiments were failures, and I was no different. <sighs> I gained nothing at all, and lost my immortality to boot. I likely won't last much longer. Grandpa? Before I go, I want to see where your path ends. That dagger will aid you. Will you do this for me? Of course. Oh, but can I ask you to do something too? Namely? I was wondering if you could write a play about Vandam. About Vandam? Yeah, I think. His story could inspire a lot of people. Once I find Elysium, I'll come see you again. Show it to me then? An interesting notion. Perhaps that is the least I can do. Very well. I'll do it. So see you make it back here in one piece. Understand? Absolutely. You have my word.
I reckon the quickest route is back to Argentum, ship to Moor Ardain, then on to the Praetorium. If we're lucky, there'll be a guild ship at the port. Can't say no to a free ride. Let's go and see. It doesn't cost anything? Salvagers can board guild ships for free. I'll negotiate for you guys, too. That would be big help! Hey, it's Rex! Rex come back alive? Rex have many sidekicks now. Quite the little celebrity, aren't we? Well, you know, I've been trading here for a while. Anyway, I'll find us a ride to the Empire. You guys go on ahead to the inn. Sounds good. See you around then. Right. So it looks like we're heading out tomorrow. Everyone, make sure you're ready by then. Understood. Affirmative. The tea here is lovely. You can find quality goods here from all around, Orrest. You like the place? Yes. If there's time before we leave, I think I'll have another cup later. Mmm. <sighs> Feels so good to rest in a proper inn after a long voyage. Yeah, it's good to be on familiar shores again. See? Huh? I can't believe it. I did it again. I am such an idiot. Hmm. Is this what they call sleepwalking? You were staring. Huh? Pervert. Whoa, 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 whoa! She's certainly exposing an awful lot of skin. Pot, meat kettle. Would you care to explain what that is supposed to mean, my good sir? Have you looked in a mirror recently? Hi, Pyra. Oh, good morning. Listen, about earlier... I'm sorry about Mithra. She gets very confused when she's just woken up. Uh, I see. It didn't get violent, did it? No, I didn't do anything weird. Not a thing. No, it was more Mithra I was worrying about. Oh, right. <laughs> I guess... But she did throw a thing or two. Oh. oh, no. So that was where that came from. I'm sorry. Did it hurt a lot? No, not at all. Really, I'm fine. Are you sure? Honestly, my head is still a little painful. Ah, to be young again. Indeed, indeed. 
We need a little romance in our lives, too, eh? Actually, I'm quite all right. Hey, Gion. Yes. I have returned from my assignment, Your Majesty. Welcome back, Morag. You too, Bridget. I'm honored. It is good to see you again, Bridget. You look well, too, Ijean. So this Aegis truly was the genuine article? Indeed. And the boy? From his garments, he appeared to be a young salvager. I would be most interested in meeting him. That can be arranged. We have received reports of an attack on a ship headed for the Praetorium. A transport vessel? Yes, carrying a cargo of core crystals. Core crystals? Torna's work then? Most likely. According to a lucky survivor, the culprit was a masked man. Jin, it must have been him. This is the third time. From what I hear, Orion vessels have also suffered significant damage. My sincere apologies. This is all my fault, Your Majesty. I let that Torna girl off lightly. I should have interrogated her more. You set the captive loose because you felt it necessary, did you not? That is enough for me. Besides which, if this really is the doing of that masked man, I doubt he would have been stopped, even by an army 5,000 strong. We have more pressing issues to consider. Such as? The Senate have independently resumed the excavation of Judicium. The pro-war faction, Senator Roderick. The loss of those core crystals must have made them restless. Judicium is a very delicate region. It would be unwise to provoke Uriah. I understand your meaning. If the Senate make any unsavory moves, we can take action. I'm counting on you, dear sister. <laughs> 